On February 22, 1803, local fishers of the Haridari shore in the Hitachi province saw an ominous ship drifting in the waters. Curious, they towed the vessel back to land, discovering that it was 11 feet high and 18 feet wide, reminding the witnesses of a Japanese incense burner. Its supper part appeared to be made of red-coated rosewood, while the lower part was covered with brazen plates, obviously to protect it against the sharp-edged rocks. The upper part had several windows made of glass or crystal, covered with bars and clogged with some kind of tree resin. The windows were completely transparent and the baffled fishermen looked inside. The inner side of the Itsuro Bane was decorated with texts written in an unknown language. The fishermen found items inside such as two bed sheets, a bottle filled with three and a half liters of water, some cake and kneaded meat. Then the fishermen saw a beautiful young woman, possibly 18 or 20 years old. Her height was said to be 5 feet. The woman had red hair and eyebrows the hair elongated by artificial white extensions. The extensions could have been made of white fur or thin, white powdered textile streaks. This hairstyle cannot be found in any literature. The skin of the lady was a very pale pink color. She wore precious, long and smooth clothes of unknown fabrics. The woman began speaking, but no one understood her. She did not seem to understand the fisherman either, so no one could ask her about her origin. Although the mysterious woman appeared friendly and courteous, she acted oddly, for she always clutched a quadratic box made of pale material and around 23 inches in size. The woman did not allow anyone to touch the box, no matter how kindly or pressingly the witnesses asked. An old man from the village said this woman could be a princess of a foreign realm, who married at her homeland. But when she had an affair with a townsman after marriage, it caused a scandal and the lover was killed for punishment. The princess was banned from home, for she enjoyed lots of sympathy, so she escaped the death penalty. Instead, she might have been exposed in the Tutes Euro Bunny to leave her to destiny. If this should be correct, the quadratic box may contain the head of the woman's deceased lover. In the past, a very similar object with a woman was washed ashore on a close-by beach. During this incident a small board with a pinned head was found. The content of the box could therefore be the same, which would certainly explain why she protects it so much. It would afford lots of money and time to investigate the woman and her boat. Since it seems to be tradition to expose those boats at sea, we should bring the woman back to the Yutsuro Bane and let her drift away. From human sight it might be cruel, but it seems to be her predetermined destiny. The fishermen reassembled the Yutsuro Bane, placed the woman in it, and set it to drift away into the ocean.